neutral. All right, let me get this next game. With the names going up in a second. Johnny Plumbers versus Zero to None. So this is definitely the farthest uh, Zero to Zero to None and Numbers have made it in bracket in a long time. Yes, I know at the very first Zeno, Numbers got second, but like can't hang on to that forever. So right now we're at top six, uh, and now we're seeing Numbers a uh, Me Sword Fighter. I finally learned that it's Me Sword Fighter, not Me Swordsman. I guess we have no class, but whatever. My uh, my thumbnail generator definitely says swords. That's definitely what I put in. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So super even percents going on right now. Like I don't really know what these characters are going to be looking for. Like Zelda, we've seen a lot of like like retreating retreating aggression, I guess you could kind of call it, you know? She's really just building a wall with the knight there. Like, that's from great coverage right there. You can't go towards him because he's a solid wall. And then he tried to roll back, and so he tries to cover it with uh, up B. And now we have an edge guard situation for numbers. Now, Me Sword Fighter has a really uh, solid kit with uh, those specific customs or move set options, whatever. Uh, that like makes the edge guard really, really bad. But oh my god! So. He went for that down air, and it actually extend. God damn it, numbers. You dummy. Anyway, I'm still going to talk about that first kill. Uh, he fast fell that down air, but it still got delayed because he landed on the night. And because it's a multi-hit, it got delayed multiple times. And then the, the landing hit is actually quite strong for some reason, and it ended up killing it. All right. All right. Sorry, I had to go uh, take care of something. I had to talk to somebody real quick. Anyway, it didn't seem like I missed that much. We just, you know, got a bit of a fast forward to the percentages being higher. Everyone's still on their second stock. That's not going to kill. Might put him in an all right situation. Had to talk more, but it's only because I'm actually going to be getting joined by Gretch. Hello. How you doing, Gretch? I'm doing pretty good. How about you, Devin? You must be having a blast watching Zelda do so well. You know, honestly, yes, I am. Um, it's also really interesting to see a lot of the stuff that uh, Zero to None does that like, I yeah. can pick up on. It's good to learn from because uh, you got to get creative with her kid. A lot of her um, aerials are only so good. Um, yeah, you can't you can't keep it the same. You always have to be constantly mixing it up and like condition them to make sure that they forget about it if you do something over and over again. Mm -hmm, exactly. Like um, he does a lot of at least from the few games that I've seen of him. I actually haven't gotten to watch too much series of them. But well, uh, well, definitely watch his set versus the Buzz. Mm -hmm. YouTube.com slash how did uh, how did that go? I saw that they were playing. <laughs> he kind of but... kinda won, but he didn't. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so we're here on this last game, on this first game here. Uh, Zero on his last stock, yep. and oh, yeah, yep. the timing on that is hella tricky. Yes. So I will say, uh, 
I'm sorry, Zero. Uh, I have played with John, uh, John, 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 John numbers. Uh, John quite a bit, uh, cause he does, uh, sort of like house fests sometimes. Check out his stream sometime, by the way, guys. It's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Chill. Um, so he's had a decent amount of practice against my Zelda. Zero's is obviously better, but uh, he is familiar with some of the nonsense, and he's told me before that, although he doesn't think this is a terrible matchup for Inkling, he just wants to go um, me Sword Fighter because he can just chalk him through Phantom. Be like, eh, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, it's just like you also just like throw out this, this like hyperactive move. You know, it has two modes. You have that slow one, which is how he was able to seal out that uh, last kill because like, it just covers the ledge. And then also he can use it to read your jump from literally across the stage. Yes. Um, the funny thing about it is that Chakram, like the slow Chakram is decent at setups, but it's actually really unsafe if you block it. Yeah. Um, and then the far one, of course, is a really good like full stage projectile. The fact that it goes through Phantom is its biggest deal in this matchup. That was a really smooth grab right there. Yeah, it's because it's like it's a physical hit. So like when it just hits something, it just like keeps going. Yes. Uh, Wait. It, keep, it bounces off of shields though, so it yeah, stops on shields wall, right? and it has like little to none uh, shield stun. So would you say zero to none shield stun? Yeah, zero to, <laughs> zero to none shield stun. Uh, not an intentional joke, despite the fact that I normally go for those. That's unfortunate. That forward smash, unless you trade with the very last hit, is basically never in your favor. Um, Ooh. All right. Trying to go for the beefy up B and uh, mistimed it, I would have to guess. Oh, so you mean he wanted to go up and hold down, mm -hmm. and then he held down too early, so he just teleported down to his death. Yes. So Unfortunate. The thing about that, right, I mean, the window's not exactly small, but the way Zelda's teleport works is that the direction she moves is determined by the final frame that she's visible. Um, so you can actually get a cool option select with that going, but you have to hold kind of late. Like, you have to wait until Zelda disappears completely before you can hold down. Otherwise, you uh, will be sent to the blast. Going for down throw at 130 is kind of interesting. Um, don't have any follow-ups off of down throw at that percent, so I would have expected a back or forward air for the stage control. Or back or forward air for the stage control. But, uh, I think we're seeing a lot... Uh some pretty good adaptation from John, John's side. Like, it, he was kind of like in the driver's seat for game one as well, mm -hmm. but now it just seems like he's just kind of pushing uh, further ahead. You know, I would say like, like you said, like you guys play uh, quite a bit with each other, so, you know, you can't really like shake him up with like some of the more gimmicky things. Yes. So it, it kind of like, it's like, all right, well, my toolkit got cut uh, a little bit, cut down a little bit because like, it's a it's a mix of you know your your solid fundies and like your regular gameplay neutral options and uh, and like the occasional gimmick because you're just like wait why did you do that oh my god that's why yes yes exactly and the funny thing right is that Goodbye. John is hey cut the neutral air dodge at that <laughs> John <laughs> shrugging off his win like John always. was like oh John doesn't want to say it but he knows like mm, poor guy. You made the right call and you still died for it. I love I love the John shrug. It's a really good shrug. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess I would. Oh. <laughs> he, was like, well, he, he went, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Yo, zero to none wasn't looking too happy about it either.